friends! In today's video, I will be sharing with you five trivia game activities to play on Zoom. Are you still on Zoom? Are you still looking for games on Zoom? Let me know down below what kind of games that you are looking for to play on Zoom. Is it for a certain age group of kids, adults, teens, seasonal holiday games? I want to make content that you want to watch. While you're here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. The first trivia game to play on Zoom is real, real simple. <laughs> Just get yourself a pack of trivia cards, like this set right here. This is the 2000s, a decade of trivia that's all about the 2000s. And simply ask players on Zoom the questions on the card. Our first trivia question. This is a movie. It's a movie. What is the second installment of the Fast and the Furious franchise called? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody know? <laughs> You're right! Too Fast, Too Furious. It doesn't get easier than that. You probably have a pack of trivia or a trivia game lying around your house. Picture trivia. Screen share a picture and players must come up with a trivia question to ask other players based on the picture. So I would share the picture and then I would ask a trivia question to the group. What kind of drink am I drinking outside? And then people would respond, with trivia answers about my picture. Okay, so that's a personal example. So this type of trivia is great as a personal kind of get to know you icebreaker trivia. Each player would take a turn sharing one personal picture and then ask one ambiguous question to the group. That would be their own personal trivia question. And then everybody would respond with their answers. This is a lot of fun. Either one, if it's a get to know you and you don't know anybody, or if it's with a good group of friends. You might have to ask a little more difficult, challenging questions, like what local coffee shop am I at in this picture? This leaves opportunity for some ridiculous trivia questions to be creative. Trivia sound. Rather than asking trivia questions where players have to respond with a correct sentence or with words, these trivia questions, players respond with a correct sound. For example, what sound did the internet make in the 80s when dial-up internet was a thing? <coughs> No, I'm not playing music. <laughs> Why is it asking me playing music? Set up professional audio in... What is this? No. <laughs> I find it hilarious that Zoom just thought I was playing music and really I was trying to sing the internet dial-up sound. <laughs> what sound does an octopus tentacle make? <laughs> what sound does Velcro make? <laughs> What sound does a busy call make on old phones? Eh, 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 eh. No, that sounds like the scream uh, knife sound. Mm -mm. Crowd party. It's been a while since I've talked about them, but they are still around. They have lots of trivia options on their website and are free for 10 players and less. Crowd Party is interactive because not only are players on Zoom, but they also utilize their cell phone through QR codes, making it easier for players to jump into the game and be present and actionable and see immediate results and answers on the screen. If you have more than 10, they do have packages and I have a discount code for you. I will pop it up here on the screen. I'm so thankful that Crowd Party gave me a code that will save you all some money. And the last one is Trivia Maker. It has also been a really long time since I've talked about Trivia Maker, but I still love it. This is a place where you can create your own trivia game. I have done this in the past with my college, is put in my own trivia questions. You can tailor it to your group and it can be a really fun, hilarious time. They also do have pre-made trivia on there. It is free to start a Trivia Maker account, but you can also, again, sign up for packages to get access to the create your own trivia games. I'm Sean. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.